In this video, I'm going to overview a Tesla wall connector installation in less than five minutes. On your screen are most of the tools you need to have handy. First step is to turn off the power and remove the cover from your panel. You will need to make sure you have physical space in your panel to fit a two-pole breaker. To determine the size of a circuit breaker you need, please watch my video on how to determine the max breaker size. Find a location for your charger and install the wall plate on a stud. You'll need conduit brackets like these to hold up your conduit. Next, install conduit brackets, couplers, and 90 degree elbows. These piece together like Legos. Make sure you tighten the set screw. If you have a recessed panel, use a conduit bender to form an S-shaped conduit. It definitely took me a couple tries to get this right, but do not run wires inside your wall without a conduit. Wires need to be fully enclosed. Cut a hole in your drywall to get the S-shaped conduit through. Remove any insulation. At your panel, locate the knockout you will use and remove it. Use a conduit cutter to cut off any excess and install the lock nut. Add wall brackets and finish the conduit routing. No junction box is required for this installation because the total number of bends is less than 360 degrees. If your conduit bends exceed 360 degrees, you'll need to install a junction box similar to this one. The size of your wires depend on the breaker size you are installing. Use the table to confirm you are using the correct wire size. Use fish tape to pull the wires through. This was the hardest step for me. Consider having a helper and consider using pulling wire lubricant. This will help facilitate your wire pull. This charger is a three wire system. Once your wires are through, strip and terminate all your wires. Pop the breaker into place and torque all your wires to specification. Install the covers back on for both your charger and your panel. Once everything's connected and secure, flip the power back on. Next, you have to configure the charger by connecting to it. This was the second hardest part for me. You only have about 30 seconds to connect to the charger, otherwise it will time out and won't let you connect. I found it easier to use a laptop. If the charger times out, turn off the breaker and turn it back on and try again. It took me four tries to get it right. When you connect, make sure you select the correct breaker size. Once your charger is configured, everything after this is cosmetic. This concludes the installation. If there's anything that's unclear or confusing, feel free to drop questions in the comments below. If you found any of this helpful, consider subscribing.